And it still doesn't happen. Oh well, yeah, shit, I tried. So, okay, never mind. So she she was <laughs> giving it. She was <laughs> giving a very clear example of a guest coming, stating his boundaries, and so on and so on. She was giving that example. She was. Mel is a smart girl, but I definitely think she purposely plays oblivious. Sometimes. But I do agree with y'all. Like, she plays oblivious. Niggas try to drive a point home, and it just sounds like a bunch of niggas on Mel's dick. It's enough is enough. I'm sick of it already. I do agree I think, with that point. I think she does that for it to sound like that. See, me too now. <laughs> like, she Yo. know what she be doing. Mel is a smart yeah, fucking she's girl. Yeah, okay? she be playing the game how it's supposed to be played. <laughs> yeah, oh, she does. You, you, like, you if think, I do this, Mel, Mel everybody gonna be on my side. For her audience. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, I disagree with that. I think Mel Mel yeah. is not playing for uh, the audience. <laughs> yes, she do I'm going to be honest. The way Mel walked off during that man bear, I don't think that was playing. I think she was very serious. So. No, she, she was, was not playing then. She, yeah, was she was very serious. serious. <laughs> so. She went off when the cameras went off, didn't she? Yeah. She was definitely giving cut yeah. the camera. Yeah, cut yeah, she was yeah. Off. Yeah, yeah she was she over that, that shit. Does that happen at least like once a pod? You guys piss Mel off and she doesn't? No, that? never. No. Mel never walks off. <laughs> once a pod is crazy. Once a pod will be a lot <laughs> of these. Like, come on. <laughs> I can see them niggas getting under her skin every pod. Just so you guys know, Mel's only, I think Mel's only issue from my observation is if you're in a room and you're the only female in a room and you have a great point to make, but you have no one to soundboard off of that could understand what you're saying or the perspective you're giving, it makes it very hard to just talk to yourself out loud. Mm, that's fair, she but I be on her. Really Manny. Imani's not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he he rides for her. I'm being for real. I'm not trying to be funny. Like I love really that be... he rides for her too. He, he definitely tries riding. to give her like the landing so she can get her shit off and be like, all right, guys, shut up, let nah. her talk. He definitely comes in and tries to like help her get her shit out. But I think once Mel kind of in the moment feels like flustered. It's really hard for her to like bounce back and just I'm spit a, it I'm out. I'm gonna tell y'all as someone who enjoys a, a healthy debate. I've already peeped Mel's biggest problem is she has a favorite person to debate with, mm -hmm. which is Ish. And mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the minute Ish says something, she loses the argument to argue with him. Mm -hmm. So like if she's going back and forth with Joe or Ice on something and she says something and she's making a good point, the minute Ish says something, it's almost like target. Uh, -uh what? What did you just say? And then she gets thrown. And now you're screwed because then you get Ish involved. It's going to get heightened. Joe's going to start because now Joe and Ish going to do their little tag team situation. I object to that. I object to that. Oh, Joe, every now and then, Joe will take her side. And every I every now and then. I purposely try to mute the fuck up when they have their on-air quarrels. Right. Mm. But like, I, I do, do try to stay quiet, but then y'all blame me and say, hey, why did you let that happen? <laughs> well, I don't I don't blame that. I mean, you can't let something happen between adults. Adults are going to do what they want to do. But my thing is, um, I do, I've seen that a couple of times. Like, she'll be on a really good point, and Ish will say something to trigger her, and she'll just get, you know, in her bag of trying to then go back and forth because I think she likes their debate more than she likes debating with anyone else. And that's not really how you win. You don't win like that. You got to stay the course. That's just my opinion. And then she ends up debating on Ish with shit that wasn't even really to do with her point to begin with. Yeah, but, you know, we love Yeah, them. I do think the male hug conversation overshadowed the real conversation that should have been expounded on. Yeah. I do think that. But that happens sometimes, too, like when the oblivious thing kind of takes in or whatever is you guys spend more time trying to convince her of what y'all are trying to say, and by the time it's been 20 minutes, you don't even go back to what the original subject was. I know. That show needs a producer. Joe. Hello. <laughs> that show needs a producer. I'm tired of it. Who's the current producer? You? That's Joe's beard, so he can produce the way he wants to. Exactly. That's all he's saying. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna fuck y'all up one day and get a producer. <laughs> you want to step on everybody? <laughs> for you. The network, and I like the little confession thing you did. Do you got anything else coming to the network? That's giving very much AO Joe feeds, but it's all right. We're gonna let you rock. I, I'm just how is that an AO Joe? I'm asking about a future project. <laughs> AO Ian is crazy. <laughs> Yo, go to hell. AO Ian. <laughs> And if any of you betas want to come up and talk, just hit the request. Joe, why would you say that? Like, they're going to be like, oh, yeah. Nah, they 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 now, Joe, is, is that just a jab to Danny? No. Oh, okay. So there's other betas in the room. Yo, I've never jabbed that kid, by the way. I don't give a fuck what him in that group says. I've okay, never jabbed that kid. I thought you said we were in that group, the WeWork group. Wait, Joe, hold on a second. Hold on. Wasn't his okay? This what the the consensus was is when you brought up the beta topic on your pod, the name you blanked out was his. That's well, the that, consensus. Yeah, but that's self centeredness. Oh my god, I hate you, <laughs> Joe. What gas like the fuck out of you? You are such a freaking gaslighter. I'm not <laughs> you. I'm oh my god, <laughs> this is listen, listen now. Now I get it. Yep, I'm not doing this. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, nope. wait mm -hmm. was I wrong? Is that not so? Who's okay? Whose name Joe. is linked out? Then are though? you answering my question no, or not? You can't, no, it's you not self centered. It's not self centered. If it, if, he, if it's him, but you don't know if it's him. It, what is it then? We're asking you. I know, but that means that <laughs> because you, you don't have you that, cannot, that's what makes you it self centered. Cannot answer a question with a question, Joe. Oh wait, all right. The answer is no. Okay. So now, I think you're lying to us. Now, <laughs> so now. <laughs> now is it self centered? If you, you hear a bleep him, and say, Hey, that was me. It, listen, it would have been self centered had oh, you not God. yesterday had a space and then alluded to the beta men being the WeWorks. Ooh. So now you've now put yourself in a bind where you've now identified who you were. It's never, about. it's never a bind. If the name bleeped was Sasha, that don't change the fact that there's beta niggas down the hall. What are you talking about? Huh, sir. I hate it. What? <laughs> he put you in the spin cycle so fast. No, he ain't no spinning me. See, that's I'm not off. trying to spin it. Yo, I'm being mad direct. There's beta okay. niggas down the hall. I don't think beta is an insult. Okay. And then I apologized if niggas felt like it was an insult. Uh -huh. And truth of the man, I don't give a fuck what niggas feel like. We know. Too much mm -hmm. talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. you named the space, but you named it. And if any of you beta niggas want to come up here and fucking speak to the top. <laughs> They're not going to come up here if you keep calling them betas. All right, if any alphas want to come up here and speak to the top. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Or they're going to come up and they're going to say, I'm not a beta, but I got to say. Would you, would you, would women judge if a man admitted to being a beta? No. Yes. No. No. And yes. No. And yes. Oh my God. First off, I'm not going to judge you for knowing who you are. It's when you act like you're something and then you're not, that's when I'm like, okay, come on now. So now it's a so it is safe for Beta to come up here and say I am Beta. And yeah, the only person yeah. giving a Beta smoke is Joe. I'm not I'm not nigga shopping. So come up here. Yeah, but Joe said Joe said it's not even smoke. It's like I'm just. But they don't. Okay. I, they don't believe me. Ian. Okay, well let's let's put it to the test, Joe. Let's let anyone, Alpha, Beta, or Omega, Sigma, whatever, <laughs> Kappa, let's let them all come up. <laughs> all right. 